it is, Warlord Games Bolt Action Tank War British Starter Set. A great way to get into Tank War or to reinforce your British Army for Bolt Action. As you guys know, I got this on a significant discount, about 50% off from my local uh, gaming store. Uh, so with this being normally about 150 bucks, I got it for about 70, 75 dollars. But uh, yeah. In this set, you're going to get two plastic Sherman 5s or Vs, one plastic Sherman VC Firefly, three plastic Churchills, you'll get an A5 soft cover tank war bolt action rule book, as well as a quick start booklet, quick reference sheet, templates, tokens, pin markers, and all that fun stuff. Everything that you would normally get in a two player starter, you're going to get in this single player uh, tank war British starter set. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. First off, you'll get your A5 size rulebook. It's not a very thick one. Again, you will need the bolt action um, rulebook in order to implement a lot of the rules and scenarios that are in this book right here. Next up, you get your D6 dice and a number of order dice, about six of them. So a great way to uh, add more order dice to your bolt action game, but obviously these will be going or used for your tank or set, one for each tank. Next, we have a number of stat cards or tank cards for the included vehicles in the set. Uh, you have your Firefly, your Churchill Mark 6 N75, Churchill uh, Avre, which is the engineering tank, uh, Sherman V or Sherman 5, and the Churchill Mark 3, 4, and 5 stat cards. Each of these denote the era in which they are used. Uh, for example, the Firefly's Late War, the Churchill Mark VI NA-75 is mid to late. Uh, your Churchill Avray is late. The Sherman V or V is mid to late. And then the Churchill Mark III, four, five is also mid to late. You also know that this Churchill can be used by the Soviets as well. Next up is the ubiquitous smoke and fire markers. You get two bags of these in this set. Alright, next up we have the decal sheets. You get three of the standard British armor decal sheet. Let's get a closer look at one. And then you get three of the Churchill infantry uh, tank decal sheets. Let's take a closer look at one. Alright. Next are your bolt action pin markers. You do get a set of these, as well as the template and token sprue. Next is the Tank War British Armor Guide, or Quick Start Guide. This kind of gives you information uh, on the tanks that are included here, as well as the build guide for all of the vehicles that are included and their stats and all that fun stuff. So. Also comes with a couple scenarios for your first encounter, big cat on the prowl, and the road to victory. So, as well as that tank war scenario. Lastly, you get your play sheet, which has all the standard rules for bolt action and more specifically tank war, as well as a couple cardboard rulers, which you probably will not need if you are a significant war gamer. All right, now on to the meat and potatoes of the set, the tanks themselves. In this set, you'll get two Sherman 5s or Vs. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a closer look at one of these pretty soon. Next, you get three baggies of uh, Churchills with all the appropriate um, components for the different versions of the Churchill. And lastly, what I'd like to call the queen of the set, you have your Firefly. And I'll show you the difference between these sprues and the other Sherman 5 sprues. So, first off is the Sherman 5. And I'll lower this real quick. It has three sprues. We'll take a closer look at them. Top the hull. All the components that go on the hull. You have part of your turret. Yeah, pretty standard. Next up is the sprue with the bottom hull, tracks, and wheels. And then lastly, the rest of the components, including your uh, 50 cal, side skirts, the commanders, two different versions of the commander. 
and then everything else. We'll take, we'll take another look at each sprue. Not a very complicated kit to put together. Alright. Next up are the Churchill sprues. There are three of them. We'll take a closer look at each. Here's the first sprue with the top of the hull turret, the barrels to the cannons, and everything else. And then the second sprue, which has the bottom hull tracks, other components. And then the last sprue that come with the, the wheels and the commander. We'll take a closer look at each sprue again. And then the last. All right. And lastly, the queen of the set, the Firefly. So there are three sprues. We'll go through each one of them. Wheels, tracks, and bottom hole. Top of the hull, turret, other components, as well as the 17 pounder uh, barrel. And lastly, these sprues with the commander, the skirts, and everything else. We'll take a look at the other sprues again. And there's a long barrel. And then the last sprue. All right, I want to do a little comparison, show you the difference between the Sherman 5 or V barrel and the uh, Firefly 17 pounder. This is the barrel for the Sherman, Sherman 5. It's very familiar to anybody who's ever assembled a Sherman. And then obviously you have your barrel for the 17 pounder on the Firefly. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, quite a difference. All right. All right, before I finish off this video, I wanted to take this opportunity to thank Marilla for packing this wonderful kit. Here are my thoughts on the Bolt Action Tank War British Star Set. I think this is a great value deal. If you are getting into Bolt Action, this might be an easier way of getting into Bolt Action just by running with vehicles rather than uh, infantry or infantry support uh, of the vehicles. Uh, it's gonna be a quick game, Tank War. Uh, we do have a few Tank War uh, battle reports on the channel and they don't last very long, obviously. But um, it gives you an opportunity to learn the game on a smaller scale level, even though you are getting to play with the best toys that are included with this game. And that's always going to be tanks and vehicles and stuff like that. Great thing about the starter is it comes with everything that you normally get in a two player starter, including the order dice and a five size supplementary rule book. Uh, you will need bolt action core rule book in order to get some of the rules that are in tank war. Uh, it comes with templates and all that fun stuff. And obviously the meat and potatoes, of this set are the six tanks that are included in here my favorite is going to be that firefly i can't wait to put that together uh, and i'm going to share some of this with james who is playing a commonwealth army he could definitely use some of these tanks for that in any case if you like this video go ahead and click like if you haven't subscribed to the channel i appreciate it if you would click the bell notification icon to get notified of all new videos all new bolt action videos coming out of the channel and then click the link in the description below to join our discord server that is the best way that i can personally interact with you and chit chat you about bolt action and any other historical war game that we cover on the channel all right that's it thanks for watching stay tuned for more bolt action unboxings from wargaming noob historical